Hey everyone, it's Nicole Stone and today's tip is about fixing that fishing rod you accidentally broke. I recently broke one of my favorite walleye extra fast action rods and it's got a really small tip and I need to fix this quickly. Now you can do this in the boat for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing it in a more enclosed environment. So the first thing that we're going to need is a rod tip heat glue. And I just bought this in this pack. It's really just regular old heat glue. You can get that separately or you can get epoxy or you can even use super glue. However, I find this heat glue is really easy to clean up if there's a mistake or any surplus. I'll not be using the eyelets because they're too big. That's why I'm getting these extra guides from Amazon. For $14, I get 10 different size guides instead of just those standard three. And these will fix anything from a panfish rod to a musky rod. So it's always good to keep this in your boat. Next, I'm gonna need a lighter just so that I can heat up that heat glue and put it on the end of the rod. So after we have our stuff ready to go, I'm gonna open up that pack of guides and I'm gonna find the smallest possible guide to put on the end of this rod. Keep, try to keep it as true to action as possible. And now I'm going to take the glue and heat the glue just enough that I can rub it on the end of the rod. After a couple of seconds of knowing that the glue is soft, I'm going to rub that glue around the rod the best I can. I'm going to let it cool for a couple seconds and then I'll reheat it when I put the guide on. So now that I have the guide in hand, I'm reheating the rod and the glue, which are together now, and I'm going to put that guide right on there. Make sure that all of the guides line up. That's your number one important thing. And then after you let it sit for a minute, then test to make sure the end is secure. If you happen to have any excess glue sticking out the bottom, which is entirely possible, with this heat glue you can really peel it off or you can actually just reheat that and rub it off. Just like that, we have a fixed fishing rod. If you guys like these types of tips, please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and like the video. I'll see you guys on the next Nicole Stone Outdoors YouTube video.